It might surprise you to learn that children in care of the child welfare system make up about 1% of the youth in Waterloo Region. But these kids make up about 10% of the youth criminal justice system. So putting that into context, we have 125,000 children here in Waterloo Region. 500 of those kids are currently involved in the Family and Children's Services system. 400 kids are involved in youth justice through probation. And 50 kids are both on probation and involved with Family and Children's Services. We call these children crossover children because they literally cross over from the child welfare system into the criminal justice system. Most kids break the law as youth, but crossover children tend to start breaking it earlier and they keep breaking it longer. These kids are a major concern for the justice system because they tend to become persistently involved. But the good news is it's a manageable number. We're talking about 50 kids. Putting that into context, that's about one school bus two classrooms, one high school football team, or for our rural viewers, that's one bush party before 9 p.m. Often when we're talking about complex problems, we're dealing with large numbers that makes make solutions seem almost impossible. This is not that type of problem. It's a problem we have the resources to solve. My name is Anthony Pichotelli. I am Supervisor of Planning and Research with the Waterloo Region Crime Prevention Council, and this is By the Numbers a special video edition of the smartoncrime.ca blog. The Waterloo Region Crime Prevention Council in May of 2012 released a report from one system to another, crossover children in Waterloo Region. This report outlined ways we can help crossover children locally. These aren't bad kids. These are children who follow a pretty typical story. They're usually male kids. They usually face maltreatment in the home. This maltreatment leads to them being put in care. Once in care, they face multiple moves. Eventually, substance use issues and mental health issues emerge. The kids then end up in group homes. From here, they become involved with the criminal justice system. Most people would agree, the best way to address a crime is to prevent it from happening in the first place. Family and Children's Services, one of our partners on this project, is doing their part. They've begun to reduce the number of moves children in care experience. They've also introduced something called kinship placements. These are special placements where children are placed with non-parental biological family members. These efforts are good and they need to continue. But more still needs to be done. We need to ensure that group homes are only used as a last resort. We need to ensure that crossover children do not reoffend, And we can do this by offering them programming. Finally, we all have a role to play. That's right, you have a role to play. Sports coaches, priests, teachers, school custodians, music teachers, camp leaders, and parents, we all have a role to play. There's an old African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. This saying is apt when it comes to crossover children. These are children whose tragic life circumstances have placed them at risk of becoming a burden for society. But you can help prevent this from happening. One of the most powerful protective factors for a child is having adults who care about them. So take an interest in a child's life. You may make all the difference in the world for them. That's all the time we have for today. But if you still have questions, we'd love to hear them. You can contact us by phone, email, on Twitter, or simply post your question below this blog post. If you'd like to learn more about the Waterloo Region Crime Prevention Council or crossover children, please visit us at preventingcrime.ca. And join us next time as we begin to explore attitudes towards the criminal justice system on By the Numbers.